Yeah, and we're going to talk a lot about that in a second, but not a bad evening. Definitely way above normal. Our normal high this time of year is 82, and we are at 80 right now. So Skyview, as you can see, showing some good visibility. Absolutely nothing on radar, although we did have one shower pop up earlier today in Chesapeake. Every day we've had at least one, if not two, tiny little showers that go away almost immediately. But right now, 80 degrees feels like the mid 80s because of that humidity and that very high dew point. High temperature today, the record 98. We only got up to 90. That's three days in a row. We were near 90 tomorrow morning warm and sticky just like yesterday and then as we get into the mid morning we'll start to rise up into the 70s or through the 70s into the 80s tomorrow approaching 90 once again like today a couple of isolated showers or storms slightly better odds than today but still i'm going to go with 10 percent and then maybe a stray shower tomorrow evening but an even better shot probably 50 50 chance of getting wet at some point during the day on saturday as well as sunday but look at with that air coming in off the ocean, we're going to have much cooler temperatures. Now, this is what we really want to talk about. Again, this system getting sheared, as we call it, apart, sort of the top half blown off. But notice this isn't an eye. It's dry air coming in right there. But it is starting, again, to get a little bit of thunderstorm activity, what we call convection, right near the center. So the official forecast calling for it to be a tropical storm again into tomorrow. And then as it hits some warmer water and there's less wind shear to strengthen and be up to a category three as it passes south of Bermuda in the general direction of the East Coast. This one's going to take some explaining. This, is, this isn't a computer run and computer models. This is every storm in history that we know of that has been where Florence is and where they have gone. As you can see, only one made the U.S. Nothing else has. But I need to emphasize yesterday when it was back in here and we did the same exact run. Well, actually, t eight, ten years ago, whatever it was with Isabel, when we ran this, it looked like this. And we said with Isabel, never been a storm where Isabel is to hit the East Coast. We think Isabel will in this case. And it did, of course. So this doesn't necessarily mean we are out of the woods. It just means that historically it's hard to get a storm not to curve back out to sea. But with this one, we may be looking at that potentially. Here's the European model that'll get updated in another few hours. Keeps this cold front to the north, far enough to the north that the storm is able to come in right again over parts of our viewing area. So that's the European model. Now we show the American model and the difference is that this front gets close enough just to pull a few hundred miles difference in terms of the path north. So that keeps it offshore. That's the American model. Seven days away, six and a half days away is still way, way, way too early to give you an idea of where it will go. We just want to give you some of the scenarios. So for tonight, 74, muggy and warm under mainly clear skies. And then tomorrow, up near 90 again. And then by Saturday, 83, Sunday, 81. I wouldn't totally rule out a few spots staying in the upper 70s on Sunday, but the price we pay is some thicker clouds and again, some rain at times. Monday, we heat back up and that heat wave into next week is that high pressure area that'll eventually determine exactly by how strong it is where we see Florence moving.